What's up everybody? Joe White here. There's the sun. Well, you can actually see the sun down here in southern Pennsylvania. We're at the Creek Terminal here in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, or New Kingstown, Pennsylvania. Depending on what side of the street you're on, I guess. And, uh... So, they messaged me today. I'm on my way up here to Pennsylvania from Tennessee. They messaged me today and say, um... We're selling the current truck that you're in because, as you can see here, I'll show you here real quick. 470,736 miles. Yeah. At half a million, the warranty runs out on these things. So they like to sell them before the warrant back to Freightliner before the warranty is gone. <clears throat> Or what they'll do is they will take them to Freightliner, get the truck looking brand spanking new, charge me $150 for detailing the thing, and then they will sell it to Parts Unknown or whatever the case may be. So they're giving me, it's got to be a 2023 Freightliner because this thing only has 25 miles on it. So I get down here, get into this terminal, pack all my crap up, which I should not have done, only for them to tell me that the truck does not have a people net. Well, what's a people net? That is a people net. That is essentially our, our logs, our messaging service, our GPS, everything is runs through that. So if it doesn't have one of those, I can't drive. So now what I have to do is I have to unpack some of my stuff. I'm not unpacking everything. I'm unpacking some of my stuff. I'm going to drive this go pick up the load tomorrow take it down back to Tennessee over to Memphis pick up a load there in Memphis take it back up to Hazleton Pennsylvania where the uh, wildfire smoke is golly man you get up into the Poconos you you're, you're fighting for air man it's tough to breathe up there I'm, I was having coughing fits coughing fits not coughing fits golly goddamn southern accent anyway coughing fits up there. I mean, it was choking me. Literally, it was, it was hard to breathe and just smell like a big old campfire up there once you get north on 81. Um, down here in Harrisburg, it's a little Harrisburg area. It's, it's here, but it's not as bad. Um, but you go up there, up there in the, the Poconos, up there around Hazleton and Wilkes-Barre and all that mess. Is it Wilkes-Barre or Wilkes-Barre? I've heard it pronounced both ways. I think it's Wilkes-Barre. But anyway. So now I'm going to go... Once I drop back up in Hazleton, then i got to come back down here. And hopefully... They said they overnighted the people net parts. But they didn't show up today. So... And then they said even if they were to show up tomorrow, the truck would be in the shop another two and a half to three hours for them to install the thing. So chances are if I stay here and they have them take that load off me, I won't be ready to roll till the day after tomorrow, and at least this way I can keep making some money. Plus, this truck right here that I'm in, even though it has 470-some thousand miles, back in March I had a new head gasket put into in it, had new brakes, tires, the whole nine put in it. They, they pretty much rebuilt the freaking engine. It spent a week at the Freightliner dealership, not inside this shop. Not inside that shop, but in an actual Freightliner dealer to get everything situated on it. I was out of work for a whole week back in March with this thing. In fact, I left right around St. Patrick's Day. So, um, I don't see why they wouldn't object to me keeping this thing a few more days. Because it's going to be, I'll pick that load up tomorrow. I'll have it in Hazleton by, or uh, Memphis by the 10th. Pick that load up on the 10th. Um, and then hopefully actually they have me going to Indiana I forgot they have me going to Gas City Indiana so I'm going to have to call them and have them take that load off me and get me a load coming back this way um, <clears throat> so but that's the status right here. Just want to give you guys a quick update. We're here in New Kingstown, Pennsylvania at the Crete Yard. Remember, if you see a big rig on the road, 
Give us plenty of room. Do not tailgate us. Let us over if we need to go get over. Go the speed limit. It's very important. Go the speed limit. Do not slow down out there. You know, quit going daggum, daggum 60 and a 70. There's no reason for that. If you can't go out there on the interstate and go the speed limit, you shouldn't be out here. Bottom line. If you can't see our mirrors, we can't see you. And we'll see you down the road.